So one of my favourite, and, and I reckon one of the country's most underrated fish, is the little humble flounder or sole. You find them in estuaries all around the country. I grew up dragging a net with my father for flounder. I also, um, I've been sparing them at night. That's always a wonderful thing to do. So, yellow belly flounder. I'll show you how I deal with them. Um, I cook them with a the skin on the bottom, but I, I'm gonna skin the top of the fish. So, what I do is, I take a knife and I put a little nick by the skin, and then I get my thumb in there, and I essentially I hold in this hand, and then I'm gonna pull the skin this way. I'll show you, just slowly. See how it comes away like that? Exposing the beautiful top fillet of the flounder. And I just cut the head off. There's no eating really in the head. And it's ready to go. Some people cut these fins off before they cook, but I think they're easier to take off after you've cooked them. So I'm just gonna season that with some salt, give it a grind of pepper on both sides. Make sure you get good coverage of flour, but then what you're doing is you're gonna try and get most of it off. So you give it a little bit of a, bit of a spanking. So it's just got a real micro layer of flour on there, and that's gonna add a little bit of crispness to the fish and help it brown up beautifully. Cooking fish, a lot of the time, I think it's about the equipment. I always use cast iron. I love heavy cast iron pans. To me, they are the original non-stick pan, and they just retain the heat, so you're gonna get good color on that fish. So I'm adding a bit of oil, it's nice and hot. This is just a canola oil, you could use a rice bran, you could use a grape seed. Again, when I'm cooking fish, I leave the olive oil away away. I put that on at the end, or when I'm making something, a raw fish, or I want to drizzle something at the end. I find cooking fish in olive oil, it's too aggressive a lot of the time for the fish. So I'm just gonna drop that in, that's the skinless side first, into my pan. It feels like a, just a sort of a very traditional New Zealand fish. It doesn't take long to cook, um, but I think the real special thing about the flounder is, of course, is that you're cooking it on the bone. Like anything, when you're cooking it on the bone, you're gonna have maximum flavor imparted from that. Look at that, extraordinary. Now what I like to do, I told you that we leave the fins in, because when, the, when it's cooked, you can just pull them out like this. And then you are left with a perfect looking flounder, ready to go. And then look at this. Look at this, the way it just pulls away from the bone. Oh my Lord. You can see how moist that is. And so easy to cook. And magnificent.